now riding the Triumph, the Trident. Uh, this is a 660cc, bit of an unusual three-cylinder bike here. Got an absolutely epic sound. And again, very street fighter, you ride up on the tank here. Nice, nice comfortable seat position. Your knees aren't quite bent though. So if you're a taller person, just keep that in mind. Yeah, this thing is just, this thing's got a lot to give. We're talking uh, about 60 kilowatts of power, so around 81 horsepower, I believe around 47 pound-feet of torque. Red line's around 10,000 RPM. And the noise is, is really unique on this bike. It, it just, it's got an aftermarket exhaust, obviously. But this thing is just, it's got all the power in the world you realistically need. You know, for the professional biker, they still might say this isn't enough, but you know, for your average, this is a, this is a proper intermediate bike, I would say. Huh? Most definitely. It is, uh, it's got the big two front disc brakes up front, so you know, the, the braking power is here. This bike actually has traction control as well, so you can put it into a, a wet mode, so when it's raining out, a uh, simple button tap right here, and you'll see it go into road, or we can go into rain, so we'll put it into road use. Again, very easy, your horn, your navigation menu, start, stop, hazards. Easy to use um, center gauge cluster as well, it's just, it's simple. Uh, and Triumph, you know, it's got a little bit of class to it. A little bit of a digital screen there. Yeah, wow, this, this bike is, uh, this is a big, this is a big increase of power over the Juke and the, uh, the 500 Rebel we were just riding. Mm -hmm. This thing is, uh, this thing will tear your face off if you're not careful. like how short the wheelbase is on this and how nimble it feels. Wow. <laughs> this is a bike. This is a bike, people. And uh, yeah, we are in some Thai traffic right now. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be a little bit respectful and um, not try and cut any blind corners while there's too many cars in front of us. Wow, the torque as well, you know, 4,000 onwards and this bike just wants to rip. Uh, you can really feel it's a snappy response on this. Definitely not one for a beginner, I would say. Um, you'd, want, you'd want to have ridden bikes before you get on this thing, especially in Thailand. But I would say even in, in you know, Canada, Europe, Australia, America, you know, you, you, you want to have a little bit of riding experience before you get on this. This thing, this thing definitely can um, can bite you. Now, just quickly, guys, we are out here at Custom Garage Rentals in Phuket. So we're just south of Patong. These guys have loaned us these bikes today to show you guys. And uh, if you're ever on the island, you want to hire a big bike, check them out because they just got a treasure trove in the back here. Tons of bikes to choose from. We'll leave a link for them in the description. So make sure you check them out. Uh, yeah, massive thanks to those guys. This one weighs a little bit more than the other bikes I've been on today as well. This is coming in at just under 200 kilos. And I think that's just a lot to do with the bigger engine. You know, it's a three cylinder, this one. Wow. It's ready to go, this thing. And we got traffic with Thai roads. It's, uh, it's an unusual recipe. You gotta be careful. Again, go rent this bike. The boys again at um, you know Phuket Custom Garage, absolute legends. And the fact you know they've just given me these bikes today to take out one by one, you know as many as I wanted, basically. Uh, massive, massive props to them. You know this is their business, and um, you know any exposure for them is a, is a win. It's a win for me. So if you guys are out here, make sure you use them, support them.
support me and uh, let them know you seen the review you came out and you wanted this Triumph because this Trident I tell you God of the Ocean Jesus God of the back roads in fucking <laughs> up front on this bad boy because it wants to lift and uh, I do not want to get the front tire up <laughs> and explain to why the bike is on the side of the road so I am going to use caution guys but again this thing is just what a machine beautiful to ride this is a this is a fun bike and you know look I've done other bikes like this I've done the Yamaha R6. I've done the, uh, the the ZX. I've done the Kawasaki 636. I actually think I like this one the most because it actually still gives you that very tossable, um, playful feel like in the R6. But it also gives you that feel of the 636 in the Kawasaki that you can just kind of ride this, put it in a higher gear and just cruise. You know, three and a half thousand RPM, just sits kind of nicely. Going 55 Ks an hour, it's just comfortable. And then when you want to go absolutely crazy, drop it down and, mate, this thing just becomes an absolute beast. We got the elephants. Oh man, I love Thailand. I love motorcycles. Again, these really hard hairpins here. Oh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be so damn careful here because the roads are slick. Uh, you get a lot of rain here. Um, cars, you know, leak a lot of oil and there's, there's gravel on the road. You do got to pick your spots very wisely, guys, and people go wide on these corners too, so you really don't want to cut the corners too much. Yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really fun bike, I'll tell you guys, and this is a, this is a fun bike anywhere. Anywhere this is going to be a fun bike. It's just got a great note. Power is everywhere, plenty of it. I think it's a good looking bike too. And this is probably the best balance of an, a, a sporty seating position, but still being comfortable. So I can still have my arms stretched out a bit in front of me. My back isn't totally hunched over. And I am sitting up front on the tank, but I still feel like I've got a little bit more stretch with my feet. The suspension as well on this bike, I'll feel, I feel like it's really dialed in. You know, you get off the power and you can feel the bike kind of squat down a bit again and it absorbs the road really well. So it, it is quite a comfortable bike to ride in terms of how aggressive this thing really is. Um, This is really good. Yeah, what can I say, guys? This bike is fantastic fun. It does everything very well. Um, you know, I don't believe this is the cheapest bike to buy, but I have to say, this thing is incredibly fun. Um, like, it, it's got power everywhere. It's fairly comfortable to ride here. And the noise is just incredible. Um, the brake feel is good. The suspension is great. Uh, seating position, visibility, everything is quite good. So, yeah, guys, I really like this bike. I hope you enjoy it. If you, you know, if you're thinking about buying one of these things, I highly recommend 
go take a test ride because this is that good. Man, this thing. Just savage, just savage. Un freaking believable. Guys, if you're enjoying this type of content. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Click the bell notifications. So you get updated on all my weekly uploads. Wow, the brakes, just suspension. Everything about this bike is very well done. Uh, I'm impressed. This is probably one of the best motorcycles I've driven, um, without a doubt. Now, I, haven't, I don't have a huge array yet behind my belt, but I'm getting more and more. And without a doubt, this is so far, I would say, the best. Yeah, very fun bike. Very good to ride, easy to ride. Absolutely a joy. So again, guys, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Follow the journey with us. And uh, as we park one last time and admire this view, have a look at that. It's just... It's, it's a, such a privilege to be in this place, riding motorcycles like these. I love Thailand, I used to live here. I'll probably retire here when I'm older. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's God's country, this place. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We will see you on that next video. Take care.